The Battle of Asiago, Battle of the Plateau, or the Trentino Offensive in Italian, Battaglia degli Altipiani, nicknamed Strafe Expedition, Punitive Expedition, by the Austrians, was a major counteroffensive launched by the Austro-Hungarians on the Italian front on the 15th of May 1916 during World War I. It was an unexpected attack that took place near Asiago in the province of Vicenza now in northeast Italy, then on the Italian side of the border between the Kingdom of Italy and Austria-Hungary after the Fifth Battle of the Asangzo March 1916. Commemorating this battle and the soldiers killed in World War I is the Asiago War Memorial. Topic. Background Already for some time the Austrian commander-in-chief, General Konrad von Hotzendorf, had been proposing the idea of a strafe expedition that would lethally cripple Italy, Austria-Hungary's ex-ally, claimed to be guilty of betraying the Triple Alliance, and in previous years he had had the frontier studied in order to formulate studies with regard to a possible invasion. The problem had appeared to be serious, mostly because the frontier ran through high mountains and the limited Italian advances of 1915 had worsened the situation and excluded a great advance beyond the valleys of Volshugana and Val Lagarina both connected by railway and the plateaus of Laverone, Fulgaria and Asiago. The geographic location of the routes of advance was conducive to the original plan which called for an advance from Trent to Venice, isolating the Italian 2nd and 3rd Armies who were fighting on the Asangzo and the Italian 4th Army who was defending the Belluno region and the eastern Trentino. The preparations for the battle began in December 1915, when Konrad von Hotzendorf proposed to his German opposite number, General Erich von Falkenhayn, shifting divisions from the Eastern Front in Galicia to the Tyrol, substituting them with German divisions. His request was denied because Germany was not yet at war with Italy which would declare war on Germany three months later, and because redeploying German units on the Italian front would have diminished German offensive capability against Russia. After having received a negative reply from the Germans, who refused the proposed replacement and actively tried to discourage the Austro-Hungarian proposed attack, Konrad von Hotzendorf decided to operate autonomously. The 11th Austro-Hungarian Army, under the command of Count Viktor Dankel, would carry out the offensive followed by the 3rd Army under Hermann Kovas. It was not so easy, however, because the Italians had deployed in the area about 250,000 troops General Brazzati's 1st Army and part of the 4th Army. Italian intelligence had been gathering information about an impending enemy offensive in Trentino. And a big one for about a month, but Cadorna dismissed those reports, persuaded as he was that nothing could happen in that region. <inaudible> <inaudible> Battle On 15 May 1916, 2,000 Austrian artillery guns opened a heavy barrage against the Italian lines, setting Trentino afire. The Austrian infantry attacked along a 50 km front. The Italian wings stood their ground, but the centre yielded, and the Austrians broke through, threatening to reach the beginning of the Venetian plain. With Vicenza about 30 km away, all the Italian forces on the Asangzo would face outflanking. Cadorna hastily sent reinforcements to the 1st Army, and deployed the newly formed 5th Army under Pietro Fragoni to engage the enemy in case they succeeded in entering the plain. The situation was critical, but the commitment of reserves and the replacement of several Italian commanders who were judged unfit gradually improved the situation. The new Italian defensive line on Mounts Pasubio, Navegno, Zugna, Buale Pass, and Astico Valley held and repelled repeated Austro Hungarian attacks. On 2 June, Italian troops started their counteroffensive, slowly regaining ground. Furthermore, on 4 June, the Russians unexpectedly took the initiative in Galicia, where they managed to enter Austrian soil. 
although they were effectively countered by German and Austro-Hungarian troops, Hotzendorf was forced quickly to withdraw half of his divisions from Trentino. With that, the strafe expedition could no longer be sustained and the Austrians retired from many of their positions. Italian troops in the region were increased to 400,000 to counter the Austrian positions. Although the strafe expedition had been checked, it had political consequences in Italy, the Salandra cabinet fell, and Paolo Bozzelli became the new prime minister. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Enrico Acerbi, Strafe Expedition, Gino Risato Editor, 1992. Gerhard Artl, Die. Strafe Expedition. Österreich Ungarn Suttirolloffensive 1916. Verlag A. Wieger, Brixen 2015, ISBN 978 88 6563 127 0. Fritz Weber, Alpenkrieg. Artur Kalic Verlag, Klagenfort 1939. Walter Schaumann, Dallordels Aladriatico Imagini del Front Italo Austriaco 1915 1918. Wien 1993. Lacercito Italiano nella Grande Guerra Leingg, Vol. 1, IV, Ministero della Guerra, Ufficio Storico, Roma 1929 1974.